coffee is one of the most widely used beverages in the world. You can even consider it the most common performance enhancing drugs and stimulants. Over 50% of the population worldwide is drinking coffee at least every once in a while. Roughly 1.4 billion cups of coffee are consumed daily. I myself am not a massive coffee drinker, but I do consume maybe two cups a day usually. However, I do think that it's very important to cycle off caffeine regularly to keep yourself more sensitive to it. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I quit drinking coffee for seven days and how I did it. Just drink, I like it. Another! <coughs> but first, let's look at what is caffeine and why do people like it. Coffee is usually consumed for its taste, but it also has quite a few health benefits. Long-term consumption of caffeine in the form of coffee is associated with cognitive enhancements, reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Caffeine travels to the brain and blocks a neurotransmitter called adenosine, which regulates wakefulness and sleep drive. As a result, norepinephrine and dopamine actually increase, which speeds up the firing rate of neurons. However, this only masks the sleepiness, because your body hasn't really fixed the rise of sleep drive. You're just blocking the accumulation of adenosine, which is telling you that you're tired. Coffee is also one of the main sources of dietary polyphenols and antioxidants in the modern diet which can help with metabolic syndrome, Alzheimer's and diabetes. The polyphenols in coffee can actually stimulate autophagy, which promotes cellular cleanup. So there are definitely quite a few benefits to consuming coffee, but only in moderation and if you don't overdo it. People can actually die to taking pure caffeine powder or consuming too much caffeine in general. There's also the problem that consuming caffeine daily increases your body's tolerance to it, which eventually leads to the receptors in your brain becoming resistant. The more you become habituated with drinking coffee, the less of an effect you're going to experience, and a bigger dose you need to get the same effect. For example, coffee can raise resting metabolic rate by 3 to 11%, which will make you burn more calories. However, that spike in metabolic rate will decrease over time, the more habituated your body becomes with caffeine. Theodore Roosevelt drank a gallon of coffee. His son said that, the president's mark was more on the side of a bathtub. The famous French philosopher Voltaire drank up to 30 to 40 cups, but at that time the cups were also very small, like mini espresso cups. This is the biggest problem people face when it comes to caffeine. Their body has become just so dependent off the stimulus, and they need to kind of up the dose all the time to get the same effect. Another. <coughs> They're basically physiologically addicted and dependent of caffeine. This is liquid crack. Like I said, I'm not overdoing caffeine already. I'm just consuming maybe two to three cups at maximum on my usual days. Uh, but I still want to take a break from it as a way to kind of prevent any dependency. So here's what happened. First, my sleep improved. Although I always cut off caffeine around noon, I still noticed that I slept better. My sleep scores on my O-ring are already pretty high. And I'm not suffering from poor sleep even when drinking caffeine but I subjectively felt a bit more fresh. The biggest difference was how tired I felt in the evening. Without caffeine, I just wanted to go to bed like an hour earlier, whereas if I had consumed caffeine, then I would just naturally stay awake for longer because I wasn't that tired. Secondly, I took more naps. During this time, I also found myself taking more naps in the afternoon. Usually when people feel getting drowsy or tired, they slam down another cup of joe. But maybe they should just take a nap instead. A NASA study found that a 40 minute nap increases alertness by 100%. Thirdly, I found that my body stayed hydrated much better. Probably because I had swapped out those two cups of coffee with more water. Too much stimulation from cortisol makes you wired up and stressed out, which promotes anxiety, mood disorders, irritability and fatigue. Fortunately, I don't experience these things when I drink coffee. But I notice just being more calm without caffeine. Lastly, my productivity remained the same. I didn't saw a decrease nor an increase in my productivity and cognitive performance. On a daily basis, I already do all of my work in a faster state when I'm not even drinking coffee, so my brain is used to working without stimulants or nootropics. I usually drink coffee around 12 after having worked for about 5-6 to six hours already, so I don't need caffeine to stay productive. So these were the differences that I noticed personally, but if you hear other people's stories, then you can hear that they feel anxiety, jitters, they're just really tired all the time and they have withdrawal symptoms from the caffeine. 
and that's exactly what you want to avoid and that's what you want to prevent by keeping your body more sensitive to it so your body wouldn't become physiologically addicted to it hurry up and order you basically have the option to voluntarily come off caffeine regularly or fail miserably when you do try to do it doing it preemptively is just that much easier and it's more effective so here are some tips for avoiding coffee withdrawal don't go cold turkey if you need coffee to just feel normal then going to zero caffeine immediately is gonna be painful in that case you should start gradually decreasing your dose to wane off your body from stimulants for the first few days cut your caffeine consumption in half and then go for completely no caffeine for at least a week instead drink herbal teas a lot of the time people don't even want coffee exactly they just like to have a warm drink in their hands that makes them feel good there are plenty of uncaffeinated herbal teas with medicinal properties like camoil lemon balm ginger turmeric and hibiscus third optimize your circadian rhythms if you're coping poor sleep with coffee then you're doing it wrong it's only fixing the symptoms of why you feel tired but doesn't address the underlying cause being tired in the morning means you didn't get enough deep sleep and your body is out of sync with the circadian rhythms to fix that get more sunlight especially after waking up and throughout the day frequently your body should be able to produce its own energy all the time at will so you shouldn't need any stimulants it's the problem is that most people they're not that vibrant and they're not that healthy for their body to be able to do it so that's why exercising regularly doing saunas ice baths some breathing exercises and eating a clean diet all of those can help you to not become dependent of caffeine how long you need to cycle off caffeine depends on how much caffeine are you consuming on a regular basis and how frequently would you like to do breaks for example if you drink coffee only every other day and stick to one to two cups then chances are you don't even need to go for a longer abstention because you're not never overstimulated. Another option would be to do coffee only on work days and no caffeine on weekends. Nowadays I still consume maybe like one to two cups of coffee a day and I think that's perfectly fine as long as you practice moderation and as long as you're not overstimulating yourself. So it's not that coffee is bad or it's harmful, it's the amount of how much you consume. And if you're, you know, being mindful about it and you're not going overboard with caffeine, then it's just fine and it can actually improve your health. Just drink, I like it. Generally, I think you should use coffee only for what it's worth, as a performance enhancing drug, and not as something that you just use for boredom or coping for sleep deprivation. If you want to check out my other video about how to drink coffee strategically at the right time and in the right dose, then check out this video that I made. To get help with your sleep and circadian rhythms, then check out my total sleep optimization video course. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered. Another. <coughs>